It is purely and simply greed. It is greed that caused all of this. That's it. And if you ever are wondering how greed can become more and more perfect, just look at my country. That is what my country, one of the things that is one of our great contributions to mankind. We have perfected greed. We came up with Bernie Madoff. Top that, fuckers. <laughs> it reads like fiction. It reads like fucking fiction. Only if there was a fiction book, a novel, and the main character did what Bernie did and his last name was Madoff, you'd go, that's bullshit. <laughs> so, and when greed is simple, you can greed is an easy thing to see. The head of Merrill Lynch, which is a huge financial company that, that sunk like the fucking Titanic, um, over in the last month before it fucking dropped dead as a company, he signed bonus checks to basically a whole group of people uh, in the company who, for all intents and purposes, blew up the engine room. And I don't know why that joke never works. I don't know. I'm serious, it's my fault. And it's just something, and we'll cut this out at a fucking TV thing. But, <laughs> but I've done the joke 15 times in the last 18, 20 days and fucking never. It, and it's not your, it's fucking the way I'm saying it. Okay. So. <laughs> so. Um, he also redid his office. For the, so the, he, he paid $1.5 million to redo his office a month before the company goes bankrupt. Now, if I was doing a financial office, if I worked in a financial office, this is what I would have. For $1.5 million, I'd have a, a chair for the fucker I gotta talk to to sit in. I'd have my desk, my chair, and behind me, the whole rest of the office would be filled with a giant aquarium like 18, 20 feet high, with a young intern who's at the top of it, and in the aquarium is a great white shark, and the intern spends the whole day just throwing meat in at the shark, and the shark spends the whole day going and I spend the whole day, and I never talk to any of the clients, I just point and laugh. He spent his money, $63,000 on a credenza. Does anybody know what that is? <laughs> I gather it's kind of a, a glorified filing cabinet. I always thought it was the two bones above your ass bone. <laughs> As in my credenza is acting up. And that would make a hell of a piece of furniture made entirely out of human bone. <laughs> $63,000, that'd be a steal. <laughs> he spent $87,000 on an area rug. I know what that is. That's a rug that covers an area. <laughs> and for that amount of money, uh, if I spent $87,000 on an area rug, I would like it to be woven from the pubic hair of virgins. <laughs> yes. And uh, I would have a, also receive a leather bound book. And in it would be pictures of the women who contributed to my rug. <laughs> and I would keep that book in my credenza. <laughs> the big argument in my country right now is the amount of regulation that should come to bear on capitalism at this point. Well, um, and there's, the, there's some people who still say no regulation whatsoever. Uh, but the problem with capitalism is that people are involved. <laughs> <laughs>
and a lot of them are greedy, and the ones who aren't greedy apparently are fucking stupid. <laughs> and so it has to be regulated. And the reason it has to be regulated is because when the shit hit the fan, one of the first rules that they wanted to institute, because this wasn't written down already, and apparently needed to be, is that the lender should be absolutely sure that the borrower has the financial assets and resources in order to pay the lender back. I, I, that's the punchline. Okay? I'm not going to give you the rest of it. You didn't get it, did you? Okay, bankers, banks, fucking here, fucking everywhere, all across the world. There were people running banks who didn't know that. Are you fucking kidding me? Everybody knows that. You learn that in elementary school. Some prick comes up to you every day, can I borrow five cents? Fuck you. I'll never see it again, shithead. And if that's... If they needed to write that rule, the second rule should be, if you take a shit, wipe yourself. <laughs> One of the ways in which um, Obama th believes that he will achieve um, uh, the, the starting up again of the American economy is through alternative energy. I know, um, having spent the last 40 years of my life uh, believing that this should happen at some fucking point, uh, it's, it's not going to happen. It isn't. I can guarantee that. Um, it's not. Because uh, the, it, it's the arguments that come up are, are the same arguments. You say, what about solar energy? Now, today would be nice here, but I've been here in your winter and you'd need gray, fuck, gray, shit gray. <laughs> Rainy, stinky, fucky, ooh, it's my nuts are cold <laughs> energy. Um, but, but solar energy, they argue all the time, they, the, the, the same arguments, 40 years. You know, we can't have solar energy, Mr. Black, because the sun goes away each day and it doesn't tell us where it's going. <laughs> no, we're not gonna have it. I've fought for it since the uh, Earth Day. Earth Day was created when I was a kid. Earth Day was created when I was in college. It's not this bullshit thing now. This whole hoo-ha, people running around going, look, I have compostable nipple clamps. <laughs> no. We just named the day Earth Day because we were doing so many fucking drugs that we needed one day to remind us what planet we were living on. <laughs> we, I, I, I know we're not going to have uh, alternative energy because they just finally, since 1983, they haven't changed the requirement of the amount of miles per gallon a car should get in the United States since 1983. And they finally did it. And they raised it. And, they, and what was the response of the opposition? Well, you raise that, you, you do that, cars are going to have to be lighter. It's going to be more dangerous driving. It's going to be more dangerous? That's your fucking argument. That's right, it's going to be bumper cars are just going to be smashing up willy-nilly. How the fuck can you use that as an argument? You can't use that as an argument. It's not a fucking argument. You don't know if it's going to be more dangerous. If the car's fucking... You can't argue that at all. It's like, why don't you just say, well, if we build those cars, then giant bears will rule the earth. <laughs> <coughs> 